Hello everyone, let's write in the Chinese. Today I'm going to write in Yong. What do mean Yong? Yong, today I only write in one. Just call Yong. I think I will write in first, then I can talk about. Yong looks like this. Only one today. The Yong, this is called Yong. It means English is forever. The means is not very um, special, but the writing is for Chinese is very special because in olden time the teacher will teach you to writing this one is the basic. In Chinese we call Yong Zi Ba Fa. In this Yong, we have eight different writing in, inside this. So we practice start with this Yong Zi. Because I will tell you, this is the, I told before the union, basic union. To look at the basic union, this one we have one, this, this, and this, 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 this all the basic unit encoding there. So that's why when you practice this point, when you practice this line, straight down, this tick, and the line, and the here, this one, now, you practice this word, so you have a basic unit, you will control all the basic unit. So that's why we always practice start with Yong. At other point, I will tell you, this square, inside the square, Yong, it's like human body. This one like a head. This is your middle, your body. This is like your arm, uh, arm and hands. And this one like your Maybe your like your leg, you stretch your leg. This is your arm. So if you put exactly the position, you will see this body. Oh, this people looks nice, handsome. If you put a long. So you will see it's maybe ugly, maybe it's not it's beautiful. So if you have one right there, you see, if you put the head, your head is too big. So you, you have no room for your body. So you only have put your body smaller. So, this two looks like this one is a big head and the short body in the people. And this one is the handsome people. So, this is the, this is the way we practice. Use this yong and the Chinese words you must 
when you're writing, <clears throat> the only the practice is not on, only people understand, and you have to let people see. Oh, this is writing is nice. This is a quite a um, good example. So let's try again. Let me show you again. The head not too big. This is shoulder and then not too big as well. Not too wide should shoulder shoulder. A little bit this shoulder, but this one is together. And then you have man body going down and then your feet not too big. And then your arm stretch and then your leg stretch. You the arm other arm stretch. You the other leg go the other way. So that's the jong. We can now we use the mi zi ge. And this one, I last time I told you already, this called mi zi ge. The mi zi ge square one, and the inside close. So this corner, this corner, this corner, this corner. This is the top, this is the button, so the mi zi ge. So you can control much more easily. We're still writing. Today is the word yong, yong zi ba fa. The point, not too big. You see this middle one, we're almost near the top. Shoulder not too wide. And your body coming down, not all the inside the box, and not too top. Stretch your arm. Your leg, stretch your other arm, other leg. You see, this is almost inside the, this area, but arm and the leg proportion is very nice. So it looks like this it's very even. It's not you can see uh, uh it's a too big a head, too long your leg. When you finish this mi you can try this small one. Small one still square. Yong. The small one. Small one finish. You can try the Bigger one, larger one. And we use the fourth square. You can't use the three square, you can't write in. You can't write in just two square because it's too long. You can't write in this two square, it's too wide. Too. This is four square, it's still square.
用 the bigger one. See, this is four bigger square. Even you can write more bigger. And the most small is same. The always you have to think about this. This word is like your body. You want to make it beautiful. 